All right, guys, this is going to be a video for somebody that asked me about this in game yesterday. And I'm, I don't expect this video to get very, very many views, but this is for that individual. And I hope you find this helpful. OK, so this is going to assume you have a working version of Linux installed onto your system. If you're an NVIDIA user, I would suggest Linux Mint or Ubuntu as a new user okay and it's also going to assume that you have a steam account you can accomplish this goal in other ways but i think for a new linux user this is going to be the most easiest and foolproof way to make this happen okay when it comes to turtle wow in general you have two options here you can download the client which is what i've done here and i've renamed the folder a this is my home directory and this is a direct download and I've unpacked in Linux and everything and individually installed all my add-ons and everything which is a harder way to do it than what in win in Windows because you got the git add-on manager which is on the wiki which I'll leave a link down in the description for super easy it installs the add-ons for you real real easy or you have another option a thumb drive, copy your uh, Windows installation of TurtleWow with all your add-ons, keybinds, and everything onto a thumb drive, boot into Linux, this is what like I've done here, and then we'll copy this folder over. So we want to copy and then want to go back to home and paste it. And it's not going to overwrite the, my original install because I've renamed the folder. So this one's got all the add-ons, keybinds, and everything from Windows and all the add-ons installed. With and so we're going to let it copy over and then I'm going to show you how to launch TurtleWow through Steam. It's super easy. It works really good. I even applied, I think, the vanilla fixes on this Windows install and everything. I don't have to do that under Linux. Okay, that didn't take long. All right, so we have our, our copied over folder from Windows in our home directory and in our Linux installation. So we're going to open Steam. We're going to go to Games. And we're going to go to Add a non-Steam game to my library. Okay, it's going to give us a list of stuff here probably installed on the system, but we're going to go to Browse. We're going to go to our home director directory and we're going to make sure we pick the new one. The my old installation, I put an A at the end of it. All right. And then we're going to find that vanilla fixes exe or the if you have the wow exe or the wow fov exe, but we can add that vanilla fixes. All right. And once you've done that, it's going to show up over here on your games list. I have everything sorted alphabetically, so we're going to click that, and it's going to, first of all, we want to go to Properties, and we want to go to Compatibility, and we want to check Force the Use of a Specific Steam Play Compatibility Tool, and I have found Proton Experimental works just fine, and then we're going to go to Hit Play, and then it's going to update, the Proton's going to update a little bit. And then it should launch, no problem. The initial launch will take a minute because it's, you know, it's got work to do. Okay, they were already at login screen. I edited part out with my username and password and all that. But yeah, it's just that easy. Let's go over to the Turtle Wow server. Log in the Fishing Bear. Just to make sure everything's working. Yeah, all my key mines working. Let's see. Yeah, all my key bonds are there. Everything's there. I'm sure I skipped over and forgot a step or two, but hopefully you know who you are. This helps you out. I'm always trying to help people out there showing interest in Linux. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I suggest giving it a try. I encourage you to give it a try. And this is a way that you can painlessly copy your all your add-ons and, and everything over. And after a while, you'll, you'll forget that you're even in Linux. See, all the add-ons are intact. 
pretty awesome, man. Pretty easy. The hardest part, like I said, is just getting a functional Linux installation. And if you're new, Ubuntu, as bad as I hate to suggest it, or Linux Mint, especially if you have an NVIDIA card, because it'll install those drivers for you. And uh, this used to be so much harder back in the day. Even several years ago, it was much harder. Uh, I have issues with Valve as a company for other reasons, notably where's my half-life 3 but i have to give credit where credit is due valve has really pushed gaming and linux forward um they have a vested interest because of steam deck but the work that they've done on proton and making gaming under linux more accessible to more people is just phenomenal so there you go guys i hope that helps somebody i know that i made this video for one particular person but maybe somebody else can gleam a little bit of uh help and tips off of it and thank you for watching and fishing bear will be back i appreciate the response from that uh last fishing bear video that i did it got it's one of my most viewed videos on the channel and uh so that's going to continue i have this name reserved because fishing burr is probably going to be a hardcore character i'm going to take the fishing bear concept which i'm terrible at wow I like playing it, but fishing is one of my, my passions in my real life, too. I actually had a fishing YouTube channel before this one. But I'm going to probably try this concept in the hardcore because the fishing and cooking and uh, being self-sufficient really fits the hardcore challenge play style, in my opinion. But that's going to be a video for another day. But anyway, thanks for watching.